motion birth recording should be recorded in 3D. So let me show you a quick video of how our product works. So we put small wearable devices on the person's body. Hello. I can show you movements in three dimensions. I am not. And our Smart technology and algorithms reconstruct the human motion. They come as small wearable sensors, they are modulars, you can wear as many as you want. We also have a very simple application, so within Qtabs you can actually start your first motion capture. Now to create a three-dimensional representation of you, right on your smartphone screen, wherever you are. So, it's useful for sports. We've been working with lots of athletes, but also can be very useful in healthcare and, and VR, especially mobile VR. And our idea is that basically, if you use our technology within a few months, we can, you can build a product on top of our technology. Capturing movements underwater. Also, launches are waterproof, so you can use it underwater. Improve your performance, learn new moves, avoid injury, and help others do the same. Health professionals can also use not they, just complete they are toolkits, precise, so analyzing they biomechanics can use the human body. Notch technology gives everyone access to data that until now was only available to elite athletes and institutions. It is a complete hardware and software platform for revolutionary motion okay, and I have to move quick, so I'll just stop it. So anyway, so actually the good news about launch is that we, are, we just launched our, our uh, first kit, the Pioneer kit, it's available now. So, which means uh, you can also use our SDK to, to build your very first application. So it's a very exciting time for us to, to, to work with all, all of you. Um, we have some specifications about the hardware and then all the software and the visualizations. Um, but I think the best if I just uh, let lots of the talk about the application that they've been working on the far technology. It's, yeah, very exciting one. So I guess I should just let you look at this. But you can look at it later. Look at it later. So uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Laszlo Kustra and I'm part of the team. Is it better this yep. time? Yeah. Okay. So I'm Laszlo Kustra and I'm part of the team that has been developing for the motion, uh, which is a, a system that integrates the Natch SDK and working with Natch technologies and aimed at growth instructors and students. This is the logo of it and um, the whole system is actually uh, or the whole, whole pitch rather that I'm keeping is uh, just a description of how we took the Natch technologies and turned it into a product for end users. And uh, at the beginning we started with, uh, we just took a look at the existing systems and uh, existing industry standard solutions, tools, graphs that golfers are using to uh, examine, examine and, and analyze their own swings. And um, this is an example of it actually, it's a motion capture system called TPI, which, um, and, and one swings analytical data. And then we tried to, to uh, create the very same familiar graphs and tools for users uh, based on the Natchez data, with reasonable success, I might add. So, uh, for TPI, actually, there is a, TPI is selling a certificate for, um, for motion capture systems, so that if they undergo a validation process, they can claim that they are compatible with TPI, so that users familiar with one system should be able to quickly learn and use the other system. For the motion is undergoing this validation process at the moment. And then we did some more, so uh, this is, all your data is synchronized to the cloud because you might have multiple devices and you want to synchronize the same data and look at the same data set no matter which device you're using. But this system is based on match, right? So it's, it's, uh, it's mobile, you can go to the golf course with it. And so it should work when there is no internet connection. So what we did and was a bit more work and considerable amount of time is to create a, an automatic offline mode that would work and merge your data back to the cloud when you're again uh, next to a Wi-Fi connection. Next to a, sorry, I was reading the next point. So when you're next to a Wi-Fi. 
And the, and the second uh, bigger task was creating a collaborative platform where you would be able to just um, share your things with your fellow students and your instructor, and then you would be able to uh, compare it with each other, and maybe with a pre-recorded processing set. Thank you. There's one more slide. One for action slide. So actually, we'll be organizing a, a workshop in the upcoming month. So if you're interested in motion capture, in wearable technologies, just please come and sign up for our mailing list. And also, if you want to learn more about the sensors, then you can find me and also I have some samples. You can touch them and look at them. Thank you. Oh, questions. How many nodes do you need to, to actually have a, a complete picture of the body? Well, it, it depends on the activity, but a full body is about 11 to 12 sensors. Mm. Okay, for a golf course, for a golf um, swing. Mm -hmm. So for the golf, actually, they have several setups. So one that examines the lower body, the upper body, really the question is very focused. But you also have full body setup. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, am I understanding this right? So you only provide the, the SDK and the hardware and they provide the, the, the software for the for the end user right now? Uh, no. Uh, we are, yes, we are providing the hardware yep. and we are providing the SDK and we are providing basically you can now take our technology and build a, a, a product. They are just an example of how they build a product okay. using much technology. But you don't provide any any app. Oh, we have a demo application. That's actually quite useful for getting started. Okay. Does the SDK provide a full skeletal model or, or just a tracking point? Or? Oh, it, it provides a full skeletal model. Right. So basically, even if we were thinking that. For example, if there's somebody from physical therapy, then you should just be able to prototype it very quickly, even without developers. So everything is very, very easy to use. How bad is swimming? Like swimming? Actually, um, <laughs> the first one we tried, they I was hand assembling them, so they weren't that waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to swim several times to get the kit that became waterproof. But it's actually really mind-blowing. I love when, for example, you touch the water and you see this micro vibration. And so plotting out these diagrams just makes a completely different uh, idea how swimming is actually. Mm -hmm. Last question. As far as I remember, this, the, this was meant to be launched much, much sooner than it actually mm -hmm. did. What caused the, de uh, what caused the delay? Um, well, hardware is difficult or hard <laughs> to put it in this way. So it's also one thing that we are manufacturing in China. Mm -hmm. We are setting up a manufacturing line. Then there's also all the, the firmware, the whole network around about the sensors. And then also the, the SDK, the mm -hmm. applications. So putting these all together, there's just so many variables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then all the certifications and everything to get it out to the market. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, I'm happy to tell more about the process. Definitely.